Well, I tried moving the files from my phone memory to my SD card memory and lost all my files. Oh, all my videos for like the last two weeks of hunts. And that really sucks. I'm out today testing. Um, you know, I do run manual, but I've been running. I, I learned that with the CTX, um, I have to run a little bit lower manual uh, for out here to get a better tone. And I kind of played around with 50 conductive and combined. And uh, I have two different patterns. I have a pattern that I used to use, a discriminated pattern that I had with my E track. And then um, the secondary P2 is kind of more of an open screen, almost all metal. So what I've done is I've kind of uh, I'm take I'm listening to um, what people say. You know, people really like Evans' uh, uh, pattern, etc. And so I'm basically just basically running my P2 pattern. Um, so it's mostly all metal. Um, I kind of left the tones the way I wanted them. I left my bends the way I wanted them. I got I just changed them. Um, so there really isn't anything different. The only thing different that I'm running is I've I actually have turned off fast off. So I have fast off and deep off. They're both off, and I'm running an auto sensitivity, which is something you know I don't I don't normally do. So um, I'm testing out the. Uh, some different settings with the uh, more of an open screen and I am actually running in Ferris coin I don't necessarily think I like Ferris coin I really do like high trash for our area so maybe in other parts of the country uh, Ferris coin works better I happened to hit a 1247 1246 and I thought I was getting a shallow quarter and I got myself a ring but I have to, uh, you know, uh, so far since I've, I've been in this park, I've actually gridded a lot of this park. This park, um, I found ten silvers in, one half, um, two quarters, and the rest dimes. Um, so I have gridded a lot, I mean a lot of this parks. And so far, so far I've been here, I, I hit a uh, wheat penny, which is pretty cool. But I hit the wheat penny because I think I changed my bin, my bin tones. So I noticed that you know, of course, with the deeper, deeper targets, you know, sometimes they degrade a little bit in numbers. So I actually dropped my. Oh man, it's got a nice stupid nick in it from the lawnmower right there. That really blows. Um. So, anyways, I changed my uh, bin tones down to uh, like about thirty-seven. 37 to like 44 is uh, or 43 is one tone so so now I'm hitting those um, hitting wheat pennies they're a little deeper they're coming up a little higher so it's making me stop a little bit more and look at them bummer it's got a big old crack in it right there All right, well, there is something I very, very, very rarely see. I see more Indian heads than that, and I don't see very many Indian heads, but I never see um, war nickels. I dig war ni I dig nickels once in a while, but uh, anyways, I still haven't uh, haven't found. I don't think I found. I don't I didn't find any of these. I don't think in 2013. So. I'll take it. It was down about four or five inches. It's coming in. Um, it was coming in really weird because it sounded like two different numbers or two different tones were bopping on me. But it was like a, about 11, 13, 11, 14, bouncing in there. So I'll take that. That's nice. It's a nice one for me. All right. Well, I got silver. I saw silver. Um, I got my earmuffs on because of the really noisy road here. Thought I would, uh, I, you know, it's this little side of this this road here and uh, with all these old trees. I've never been able to pull silver off on this side. All my silvers come out from that side. And uh, I thought today I'll put those earmuffs on and, you know, try the uh, new setting. The, you know, just not really new. It's just auto sensitivity. <laughs> really not new, but it's new for me because I never hunt in auto sensitivity. And, um, Thought it, you know, like if I find silver over there on that side of the backstop, why can't I find silver over on this side of the backstop? Well, 
I did find silver. Funny thing was, this is a really small signal, and the reason was, is it was literally, I, I flipped over my plug, I saw the dime drop. It was like right in here, and dropped straight down to right, somewhere right here. And, uh, it was straight, straight up on edge, and I, I caught it this way. It was giving me these really high tones, something 50, repeatable. I turned and I got a broken signal because I think it was this way when I got I was going with the with the blade of the coil, and it was uh, coming in like a 1444, but it was broken, really choppy, and uh, it was repeatable and high. And I decided to dig it, and I've been getting a lot of iron falsing, and uh, yay yay, this one wasn't iron falsing, so. For silver of the day, I'm hoping to find a whole bunch more, which is uh, not probably going to happen, but I'll take whatever and all that I can get. 663. Alright, well, I'm in one of Portland's oldest parks, and for me, it's one of my worst parks. I've managed to pull one silver ring out of here, and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe eight or so plus wheat pennies. And uh, I noticed uh, my first came in here, I'm uh, hunting in today, came back to try it again today, but try it with, of course, different settings. You know, auto sense, a little bit open screen, see what I can find that I've missed running manual with a discriminated screen. I just started in here, and the first thing I noticed right over there was a plug. So a recent plug for somebody that's been hunting in here for the last couple of days. And I assumed that they probably walked this little area. So the first thing I did is I changed my direction. So instead of walking in one direction, I started doing a diagonal crisscross, and I hit this tone. It was like 1742, and it was really faint. It was seven inches down, and um, I had a hard time picking it up in all the way around, but I was able to finally kind of get a repeatable signal. And um, it's, it's a wheat penny, so you know it, it, it pays to change it up a little bit. Uh, of course, you know when you you always go sometimes with the you know, parallel with the the sidewalks or 90 degrees, and you know sometimes just just go a diagonal direction, and you might be able to pick up a signal that you weren't able to pick up before. And like I said, it's one of the older parks in Portland, so I got a 19, I think 20 something uh, weedy. And they're old here, so hopefully find some silver. All right, I my plug right there, my weedy was right there where my foot is. Stood up and scanned over the hole, had a uh, nickel tone, got myself a buffalo. So that's pretty cool. Don't know the year yet, I can't read it probably. But uh, yeah, two old coins, boom, boom. And right next to the old wading pool, so. You know, the funny thing is, is when I've, uh, since I switched to uh, auto sensitivity, I've probably dug more nickels in the last four hunts. Seriously, more nickels in the last four hunts than I probably have hunted, uh, pulled nickels in maybe uh, six months of hunting. Seriously, like last four hunts, I've probably pulled about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 nickels. And um, weird. But I, I'm able to hear them better in auto sensitivity, whereas manual, the way I was running, you know, you pick up a lot of other noises that are in the mid-tone range, and the, I think the, the numbers get a little lost. And now they're just a little bit more plain as day, and uh, I'm finding nickel. So, you know, I got my first war nickel um, like in a year and a half, and I got now an India buffalo here, so hopefully it'll, you know... I have to say, there's. I don't really like auto sensitivity, but every machine is different, um, every setting is different, and I think the way that the CTX combined mode is set up might be beneficial to run in uh, auto sensitivity. Uh, you're only getting the five tones, but you need to be able to hear 
you know those five tones so we'll see what happens I'm gonna use this uh, auto sense open screen for a while and see what happens in combined mode man it's hard to believe you know I have almost I think I've covered almost every part of this park and then the last week I came I got a war nickel which which isn't surprising because normally I don't dig a lot of nickel tones and and like I've said in my other previous video I'm running in auto sends and so I'm hearing a lot of nickels now but I found this little area before I've pulled a wheat penny out of here um, I pulled some sort of flask little thingy cup thingy over here that goes like a half dollar numbers I have to look at that a little bit better and then I had a tone here it was like a 1743 and then I pinpointed turned and it turned into like a 1746 so then I turned back and then it started to bounce between 43 44 45 and silver ho 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 and here I thought I had gotten all the silver out of here <laughs> and it's a rosy Thank you. 